This chapter is on financial instruments, long-term debt. Topic one, sources of financing. Let's take a look at different types of short-term financing first. Trade credit uh, includes payment terms for trade AP, trade accounts payables, for example, 30 days to pay, and this can create a source of financing as it is in essence a very short-term loan. Some companies push the boundaries of this by using their power to negotiate very favorably and at times unfair terms. Short-term bank loans. Most commonly, operating lines of credit are used for working capital needs, for example, buying inventory, and are frequently secured by using inventory and or accounts receivable, AR, as security. These are often set up where the limit is a percentage of the collateral, for example, 75 or 70% of accounts receivable balance. Commercial paper is a short-term short loan where large, stable companies issue it through a bank and it is traded in open markets. Settlements are done through the bank and the issuers don't know who the purchasers are. Long-term financing. Long-term loans are very common and attractive because their rates are generally lower than short-term options. Issuance does not dilute ownership like issuing equity would. Loans are usually highly accessible. The interest on uh, the interest paid is tax deductible and some firms can often earn a higher rate of return on their borrowed money. Um, in fact, they should, then um, they pay an interest to the lender. So using OPP or probably OPM, other people's money, in order to uh, grow your business. Some common forms of long-term debt include bank loans, notes payable, mortgages, asset-backed loans that are not mortgages, bonds issued in markets, and long-term leases. Term loans are medium term, generally one and a half to five years, and these bank loans are secured typically by assets. Interest rates can be fixed at the start of the loan or they can float with the market interest rate. For accounting purposes, interest accrues each period and is paid when due to the lender. If payments are blended between interest and principal, the principal amount reduces the balance of the loan. The principal of a loan is due in the next year should be classified as short-term liability on the balance sheet. Long-term loans are generally secured using land and buildings. Commonly, the amortization period is over a much longer period of time, such as 25 years, but the term of the loan could be for much a shorter period, such as five years. If the borrower is creditworthy, the lender will often extend the loan term once it ends, though the interest rate and therefore the payments may be renegotiated. Large companies can arrange directly to receive long-term loan from life insurance companies or pension funds. Bonds, or debentures, are contractual promises to pay interest and principal in return for an investment of capital. These are often traded on open markets. Bond indebtedness, the contract that contains the bond's terms, include interest rate, payment and maturity dates, and restrictions, conversion rights, or call privileges. We'll get into that more in a subsequent chapter. A trustee, generally the bank, maintains records of the bond holders and makes the interest in principal payments on this. Debt covenants are restrictions on borrower written into a loan contract. If it's broken, the lender can call the loan requiring immediate payment of the full amount. Now, it's a contractual agreement, so broken means even by just a little bit. Common accounting-based covenants include a maximum debt-to-assets or maximum debt-to-equity ratio, a minimum current ratio, meaning the proportion of current assets to cover current liabilities, 
eight minimum interest coverage ratio, meaning earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, amortization, EBITDA, uh, as proportional to interest rate expenses, as well as common restricted actions, limits on dividend payments, limits on taking on new debt, and requirements that current management must be maintained. Let's look at a question. Company Z, a small, young private manufacturer, is looking to take on a significant amount of debt financing. Which of the following is likely the best source of financing for them? Commercial paper, the use of favorable trade credit terms, a secured long-term loan. If you said C, a secured long-term loan, that would be the best answer. They are likely not established enough being a young, small private manufacturer uh, to issue commercial paper, and they are likely not powerful enough to negotiate very good credit terms with suppliers. A bank loan is likely accessible to them and will give them a favorable rate and tax deductible interest. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.